in, in rites of passage, there are these phases. You know, there's this, what we call the severance phase, or we could even back up and talk about the calling as what, what calls one to shift or change their life. Um, and it could be an awakening um, of a new way of being. Um, it could be um, an illness, an accident that just completely stops your life the way you've been living it. Um, and, and begins to ask you other questions uh, that have you thinking about a different way of living. And so callings can look like a lot of things. And then there's this thing called the severance phase of an initiatory passage, a rite of passage. And that's where our old way of being begins to fall away. Maybe it happens uh, w without our conscious direction. Maybe we lose a job. Maybe we find ourselves in a divorce. Maybe uh, we move to a new town and all our old friends live somewhere else. Um, so these periods of severance or change uh, propel us to look for something on the horizon, something new. Um, and so what people often refer to as breakdowns, or times of turmoil uh, can also be framed as a break open. Something is trying to break open. Um, periods of, of uh, challenge and discomfort, um, instead of pathologizing them and then finding the right kind of medication, um, that we can also mythologize those periods and realize that these are times of, uh, of what I call a, awakening or a soul's descent that's asking of us to, to step into something new um, in these periods of severance. Um, it's like that, that idea that every great journey <clears throat> begins with great darkness and challenge um, because it's the great darkness and challenge that propels one toward a great journey. Um, and if we refuse the call, life continues to get very uncomfortable. Uh, to accept the call means we have to step away from those familiar places and ways of doing and being that we've grown comfortable with and step toward a different horizon where we're not quite sure what it's going to look like. Um, and so you have that third phase of a rite of passage called the threshold phase. That's the, the betwixt in between. That's when, when Jesus went into the desert, when Muhammad went up on the mountain, when Buddha went unto the Bodhi tree. This period of, of uh, inward, the inward journey, you know, the vision quest, the walkabout, um, the, these rites of passage experiences where one would uh, go into nature under the guidance of an of a elder um, to seek that new vision, that, that new way of belonging to their own life. Um, and, and, uh, and so that being the threshold phase of, of stepping into that, um, that uncertainty. You know, when um, the, the, the ceremony called the Vision Quest Ceremony is where one goes up on the mountain for traditionally say four days and four nights to fast and pray for vision. Um, they don't do this simply for themselves. They do this for their family, for their community. Um, to connect more deeply with who they are and who they came into this life to be and to bring more of that back to their family, to their loved ones, to their community. And those ones back in the community know that that's why they're up on the mountain. This is not a, uh, the Western workshop mentality that they're going on a retreat uh, to feel better about themselves. That could happen. <laughs> uh, it's more that they're going into this 
uh, rite of passage experience to remember more of who they are and bring that back mm. to their community.